Welcome to this week's exciting episode of FCC 110. Let us recall the resemblance between the face-centered cubic structure and the simple cubic structure. One of the things that they have in common is they have an atom at the vertex, at each vertex of the cube. The difference in the face center cubic, it also has an additional atom at the center of each of the six faces of the cube. To form the 110 face for the face centered cubic structure, we can start and, for example, select this particular atom. And in our top projection, that corresponds to this particular atom. Extend it to align this particular atom, which goes here. And we know that this particular dimension in the face center cubic structure has a length A. To make the 110 face, we continue from here to this particular atom, which would be in our vertical representation in this. And then the other, the fourth atom, to make up our cell here is going to be this particular atom. So we see that the 110 face for face center cubic, just including the atoms at the extremes for this particular edge and this particular edge, we get a face that looks remarkably similar to the simple cubic in that we have a rectangle, the dimensions of which one side, the shorter side, are going to be A, and the longer side is the square root of 2 times A. If we cut through the 110 Miller plane for the face-centered cubic structure, we notice also, if we look carefully, that connecting from here to here, we also have a face atom in the center of this particular line. So that would correspond to an atom here. That is at exactly the same height above the surface as the four atoms at the corners. And similarly, on the far uh, face of the cube, we have an atom at the center of the face, which is right here. So we have that, a little clearer to see. We have the one right there, which would be here on our vertical diagram. So we see that in the face-centered cubic 110 face, we still have this rectangular uh, orientation, but we also have an additional atom in the center of the long side of the rectangle. And this atom is exactly halfway, so it, has, it is exactly at the midpoint of the long side of the rectangle as we've drawn it, on the whiteboard. And we've drawn it in this particular way just to highlight its similarities and its differences with the simple cubic 110 face. To model this particular plane in Lego, again, we can uh, proceed by analogy with our simple cubic case. And we recall that the dimensions for the simple cubic 110 plane in Lego, we did by having a b4 and then approximate the square root of 2 times a as 6. This particular arrangement would be what we would have for the simple cubic 110, but we recall that we have an additional atom at the center of the midpoint of each of the long sides of the rectangle. And since they're halfway in between, this particular length would be 3, and then this length would be 3. And then if we redefined our unit cell, we can have a unit cell, our former unit cell, we can break it up into two identical rectangles. So we still have a rectangular uh, unit cell, and now we have a primitive one. Once we have this rectangular shape, as rectangular structure, to our surface, now we have an additional location 
for adsorption. So as before, we have these on top sites so we can have adsorption directly onto the atoms uh, on the surface of the crystal. We can have binding in this fourfold hollow here. We can have fourfold hollows for rectangles just as we have fourfold hollows for squares. But we, now we have two different types of bridging sites. So if we have a short bridge here, so we have a short length of a rectangle. If we have an atom that binds at the midpoint here, so it's bridged between these two atoms, this is along the short bridge. Makes sense because that's the shorter length. If it were to bind here between these two atoms, that is along the long bridge. So with the 110 uh, Miller plane for FCC, now we have this additional uh, type of adsorption site. Here we see that this particular distance, the short rectangular distance, this is our distance A. And that distance is from here, from the one line to the next dark line. So this is distance of two surface atoms. This distance here is the square root of two times A. So therefore the distance from here to here is half of that, or the square root of two over two times A. So here we can, we can see, clearly see the rectangular layout of the face-centered cubic 110 Miller plane. And up here we have for the figure, uh, the various dimensions clearly uh, labeled in red. This one and this one, we see the distance for the sort of big rectangle, which is the square root of two times a. And then over here, we see that between the atoms on the short side of the rectangle, it's the square root of two over two times a. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.